Thank you all very much. How about Daniel Dufour on those drums, everybody. Chris Villanueva on the piano. San Antonio is finest jazz pianist, I would say. Ryan Hagler on the double bass. Elias Austin girl on the tenor saxophone. How's everybody out there doing tonight? All right, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for listening out in the old internet space. Well, it sounds like I'm really old when I say internet space when I'm describing the internet, but y'all know what I mean. That first song we played was called The Thing To Do, composed by the great Jimmy Heath, played by Blue Mitchell, and this is a song called 12 Zip by the great Ellis Marsalis.
Yeah. Woo! Boy, man. I'm tired already. Yeah, that's Damn. That's a, such a great song. It's called 12 Zit. I know I said that before. It was composed by the great Ellis Marsalis. Ellis Marsalis is the patriarch of the Marsalis family. And um, he has a lot of sons. Ellis, I'm sorry, that's his name. <laughs> Delfeo, Wenton, Branford, uh, Jason, who have gone on to have amazing careers. And uh, Ellis, he passed away right like at this, right when the pandemic was like really heating up, he had COVID and passed away. And uh, he just was such a special musician, lived in New Orleans his entire life, played with Al Hurt, great trumpet player, but um, was just so responsible for the jazz scene in New Orleans that wasn't ex explicitly playing New Orleans music. And so uh, we dedicate that rendition of 12's It to him. Hopefully he's happy with what we played. Um, anyway, thank you all. I think we're gonna have a quick word from the owner of Monk's Jazz Club. And I'm just killing time right now because I know he's putting on his speaking jacket. There, oh, he's got a jacket on already. Put your hands together, everybody, for Colin Shook. One more time for Mike Sailors. Thank you all so much for coming to the studio tonight. Uh, we are here at Monk's Jazz. We have this recording studio. We've been live streaming. We have about 25, 30 seats in here, and it's a real treat to have you all uh, listening to this fantastic band with us tonight. If you're tuning in online, we're doing this about 12 or 15 nights a month here on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, I see a lot of applause over there and a lot of people tuned in. I know you can hear the people clapping in here, so if you'd like to clap along, feel free to use the clapping hands emojis or the strong arm emojis or the fire <laughs> emojis, whatever you like. Feel free to participate in the, uh, the joyous nature of this amazing improvisational music, you know? Yes, yes, I love it. Um, we do all kinds of concerts with all kinds of different musicians, a uh, lot of local musicians touring through. Uh, or bands touring through as well, but uh, we're very lucky to be working with the Austin Jazz Society. Uh, back at the beginning of the pandemic, we started a live stream series. They had already created a fund called Project Safety Net, uh, which was giving out $500 grants to musicians out of work. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was unemployment and all these things, but there was no uh, resources for musicians and independent contractors and all that stuff. So the Austin Jazz Society came through Helped out so many of the local musicians. Uh, I did a live stream from my house, uh, from my living room with one of these cameras, and then we got a space and kept the stream going. And to date, I believe this is show 55, but the Jazz Society and the Project Safety Net has put over 140 something thousand dollars in the, in the pockets of local musicians. So please give a big hand to the Jazz Society for such an amazing thing. That said, all that money is gone, so we're continuing the fundraiser. And if you would like to become a sponsor, if you're watching online, you know, 10 or 20 bucks goes so far. We have this nice audience in here, but uh, we're paying this band, we're covering the cost of the venue, and if you'd like to help support the Jazz Society's mission, please leave a $100 uh, sponsorship. Uh, you can go to the austinjazzsociety.org or the uh, paypal.me slash austinjazzsociety. They can send you a tax-deductible receipt. Uh, that's all there in the description. And uh, we'd love your support of this project. Of course, we have more shows here. Uh, let's see. Tonight is Wednesday, right? I think so. So many shows. <laughs> uh, Friday night, we have a band coming out of New Orleans, a great saxophonist named Byron Asher. It's going to be two saxophones, two drum sets, and like an NPC drum machine and all this stuff. They're called Basher. We have all kinds of jazz here at Monks, uh, but they're on a short tour through Texas, so please come here Friday night. That's 7.30 and 9.30 p.m. And then we're taking the weekend off, but we're back with the Texas State Big Band under the direction of Utah Hamrick. There's gonna be four trombones, four trumpets, five saxophones over here. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy night. So please come here on uh, Tuesday night at 7.30 for a big band show from Texas State, uh, the university down in San Marcos. But uh, please leave those tips and uh, share this video online. And thank you guys for coming to the studio. Thanks. Colin Shook, everybody. Thank you. So I think.
Colin was not, I wasn't the first person to do one of those streams that you're, oh, was that the first? Wow. Wow. Oh. Uh, I know Elias did one. I know Andre Hayward did one. Um, in fact, there's going to be a little after party at the Elephant Room directly after this. Andre is playing there with his quintet. I know I'll be going, and I'm going to be drink way too many margaritas that they have on tap now. But responsibly, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, responsibly, of course. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um, but I just want to say that, you know, Colin, it, I mean, it's like unbelievable. I mean, Colin, your house is like nice and all, but it doesn't have AC, I will say that. But this is amazing, like this unbelievable setup and like these cameras and these lights. I mean, it's crazy how far you've come uh, and it's been uh, a pleasure to see it. So put your hands together for Colin Show one more time, everybody. And we're grateful for all the places in town that made it through the pandemic. There are other great jazz spots that made it. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad that no one closed. Can you believe it? That The three jazz clubs in town, they just, like, they made it. There were a lot of places that did not make it. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So, um, anyway, we're going to uh, play a song now that you have probably have all heard, for, heard of before. It's called The Lady is a Tramp. But the way we play this is kind of unrecognizable. And I'm going to play this very peculiar instrument. This is called a bass trumpet, and um, I hope you all like it. This is The Lady is a Tramp.
I was thinking trying to play both these instruments on the same gig. Man, <laughs> thank y'all for, thank y'all for indulging me. Um, that was Bob Brookmeyer's version of Lady is a Tramp. We're gonna continue along now and play uh, a song that was, I first heard um, the great Fats Waller cover this song. That's what y'all say when like people play other people's songs. They, they cover other people's songs, but this is a great song, and I think it's very fitting for the changing of seasons in Austin. How many people are, here are from Austin originally? Yeah, yeah, right. There's not many. See, the thing about people from Austin that they don't know is that there are these things called seasons, yeah. and everywhere else in the world there's four of them, right? But they only really know two, hot and cold. The cold really isn't even that damn cold, I mean, honestly, you know. Anyway, um, now that I'm living in Texas, like now when it gets above below 50, I'm freezing. I mean, it's like I've lost my New York edge with the cold. But anyway, the song is very fitting for the time of year it is. This is entitled Tis Autumn. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know Anna had water. Heckling, oh. heckling, heckling. Jazz heckling. Careful. <laughs> still too, I think it's still too soon, man. All right, here we go. One.
Thank you very much. Tis Autumn, thank you very much. I love it. Thank you all. All right, we're going to continue along. We've got two more for you. We're going to feature our lovely bass player in the group. How many, is there anybody here from the class I teach at UT? Oh, okay, all right. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Extra credit. No, I'm just kidding. So, y'all, so I teach this class at, at, at um, UT. They need signatures, right? No, 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 not anymore. Not anymore. I know we got rid of that. I know. It used to be that there was an assignment. You had to go out and see a live performance, and you had to get a signature from the, one of the performers, which meant that, like, sometimes you catch these cats at the end of the gig, and they're pretty deep into the bottle. It's like, <laughs> like well, I can't even read this. Who is this, you know? Now you just got to stay for one set, you know, get something like a receipt or something like that. But... Um, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, you know. Anyway, um, y'all know Ryan. Ryan is, um, a, yeah, put your hands together for Ryan, everybody. <laughs> Ryan is like my assistant in this class I teach. So the class I teach, this is not news to y'all, but I, this class I teach had 700 students in it. What? It's unbelievable. It's on, you know, as you teach it, I go to a television studio on campus to teach it. So it's a lot of work, you know, and Ryan is like just such a great person to have in your shoulder, and we're, and we're friends, which also makes it good, you know. And he plays bass great, which also yeah. makes him even better, you know. And, um, uh, you know, it just makes it, just thank you for all the work you do with the class, you know. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. I mean, it's, the semester's not over. You still could mess up. But, but we'll see how it goes. Still plenty of opportunities <laughs> to screw it up. Yeah. Anyway, Ryan's a great bass player, and we're like close in age, so sometimes I have to remember that, because I, I feel like I'm 57 years old a lot of times, but he's aged a lot better than I have. He's kept all his hair, too, which I'm very mad about, but anyway, <laughs> we're going to feature him on this Ornette Coleman song. This is called The Blessing. It's your mother's father. He was bald. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I know. You might want to do I was, a, I was might waiting do for it, man. I was, I've been waiting that. for it for 20 years. You, you, know, you know, we rehearsed this whole bit before you all showed up. We rehearsed this whole bit. Um, you might want to check the results. You know? Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> One, two, three, mm, mm, mm. <laughs>
once again, Ryan Hagler on that double bass. Thank you. Thank you all very much. We got one more song for you. So, so, so much for coming out here. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you all. We sold this piece out on a Tuesday, you know? That's what I'm talking about. Wednesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, 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 Wednesday. You know what? It's usually these things are Tuesdays, right? So, okay. I've had a couple of myself up here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, thank you all for coming out here on a Wednesday night and uh, spending your evening with us. I know you could be in a lot of other places right now, but you chose to be here with us, so thank you very much. We're going to close out our set with a Charlie Parker classic. This is entitled Scrapple from the Apple. We're going to feature our amazing drummer, the hardest working jazz musician in Texas, Mr. Daniel Dufour. Thank you very much. Scrabble from the Apple. Colin, did you want to say anything else before we end? Yes, sir. Oh. Colin Shook, everybody. Thank you again for coming. And uh, one more big round of applause for Mike Sailors. What a force. That's a bass trumpet? Is that what that's called? Bass trumpet. I've never seen that before. It sounds great, man. Again, if you're tuning in online, uh, we very much appreciate your donations. We do have a very limited audience in here. And last I checked with the president of the Jazz Society, there were only four people, four individuals who made donations. So if you're at home saying, oh, everybody else is leaving tips and supporting this, you are the people uh, tuning in online, whichever camera. Um, please leave that 10 or $20 tip if you'd like to be recognized as a sponsor for our next show, which is December 7th. Um, it's gonna be the concert where we induct three new members into the Hall of Fame uh, of the Austin Jazz Society Hall of Fame. John Blondell, Scott Lanningham, and Mitch Watkins. It's gonna be a, quite a big night with a bunch of different musicians. Michael Mordecai on the trombone will be organizing that show. So that's on December 7th. I believe that's a Tuesday, but that is our next Austin Jazz Society show. We have a concert here as well on Friday night and coming up on the next Tuesday. Please check the Monk's Jazz calendar for all the upcoming shows. But uh, I really want to thank all of you for coming to the studio tonight to hear this fantastic band. And uh, please get home safe. What's this last tune? Scrapple. Scrapple from the Apple. Thank you, guys. I also just want to say, too, um, that, you know, the... One, does anybody in here know, like, Elon Musk or Richard Branson? We got to get these guys in jazz, you know what I'm saying? We got to get them jazz fans because we could use a cool billion, yeah, you know? Yeah, just break off a billion, man. Just break a billion off. Yeah. Sky, you know, yeah. give, us a, give us a thousand Tesla stock. <laughs> Tesla's worth a That's billion it. right now. Exactly, you know. But seriously, on a serious note... You know, the, the, the people that are donating online, we thank you. But, you know, that money, it doesn't, it, it kind of indirectly does come to us because we play these things. But it really goes to people who are musicians in the community who are older, who, like, you know, they need medical assistance. They need all kinds of things. And so those donations, they go to a good place. They're not just going to us, you know. We're, we're cool, you know. But they go to people that really need them. And so that's what, why these things are so important because that money really gets put to use for, you know, musicians who are jazz musicians in town who, you know, maybe they can't go out and play anymore or, or whatever. I mean, who knows? A, a multitude, multitude of reasons. So um, we do appreciate those who are watching to donate. That money does go to a good place. It just doesn't go into our pockets, you know. It doesn't go into our pockets at all, so... Um, at least I don't think it does. Maybe a little bit of it does, some but of it, some much. of it, some of it, but not much. It really goes to people who really need it. So um, we thank you all for your donations. Anyway, here's Scrabble from the Apple. Yeah.
Thank you all so much for coming out to Monk's Jazz Club. Thank you, Colin Shook. Thank you all so much. You're beautiful. Have a good night. Thank you very much.